Hello and welcome back. This is Omar Al Tawaini. Today we are going to start new sessions that discuss using of R language as a GIS tool. First of all, I would like to thank everyone, my students, my colleagues, friends, YouTube viewers, for supporting my previous lectures. Really, it's given me so much energy to produce more. Thank you very much. In this course, we will start to introduce R which is a free software environment for statistical computing and graphics and actually so much more. My plan in this video sessions, I would like to say that there are too many resources about how to use R from basic to master level produced by experts, uh, programmers, professional in this field. But what will we offer in this series? Actually, as a geomatics engineer, I'm talking about myself it's a self experience. As a geomatics engineer, I would like to share how to use R in geospatial environment. What that means, most of the engineers they might have a very basic or no background about programming or statistics, especially students or fresh graduated engineers that they are focusing on. Uh, they were, for example, they were using uh, uh, backages or uh, commercial statistical softwares that they never go around with any programming stuff. So happy learning. Today I will talk about introduction, about an effective way in learning R and what to do and don't do in learning journey and then effective R environment setup for a new project. And at the end of the session, you will be able to understand the effective method to learn any programming language, any programming language, and effectively setting your project environment in R and have a clear plan about how to develop new programming skills using the powerful R language. In the upcoming weeks, I will try to cover the basic operations with the spatial data and develop mapping using cartographical uh, skills, running statistical analysis, some data mining approach or uh, anything related to uh, digitizing, georeferencing, any mapping issues and also more statistical about regressions and then we try to produce reports, making maps and so on. Why to learn R? Just to talk from my own experience, I started as a researcher that tried to use some uh, statistical softwares with integ uh, integrated with the uh, GIS softwares. Then I can do some analysis, uh, some advanced uh, ensembles methods. Actually, what's the problem? It was, it was mainly about how to find a perfect software that can uh, serve you uh, as much as possible. So I was looking around, there was some uh, uh, softwares that, that they are talking about uh, regressions for example or for some of them they are were using limited data only so when I paste uh, the, the huge data of uh, maps that I use with the TIF or grid data that is my one scene it's my reach to uh, more than gigabytes and then uh, most of those softwares they were uh, commercials that's me I need to pay for them so people start to crack them yeah, and this is not the correct way to do it uh, because there is a copyright. Also, in the same way, uh, there is some uh, stats professional statistical software like MATLAB, but also it's paid. So I was looking to some uh, colleagues, they were installing cracks, getting a new crack. At the end of the way, when they, whenever they want to install the software in a different computers, they are facing different problems online, they should be offline. Most of this mess actually it was in front of my eyes before I wanted to start an effective journey. So I decided to start it in a professional way, protecting copywriting of other people. So then I, one of my friends uh, introduced R to me, he was teaching this. Uh, so then I start to search for it and then I found that it's over millions, two million of analysts worldwide that are using it, Facebook using it, Google and then I found it is easy to install it in any and how many computers do you want and also to develop the package by your own 
and then this R it's designed firstly for the non-special data and that's mean all the classical analytical and statistical methods are there so when we come to introduce the GIS we just need to introduce our data which is a special data to this environment and then we can use all the uh, bros of this software inside the uh, to serve a GIS needs R has a strong and solid support online there is a R project mailing list so you just add your email and you can get all the questions ideas from different users whether if you can if you just send a question you can find it within a day the answer will be ready also there there is a stack overflow.com and there is many many free books online free worksheets um, cheat sheets videos and so on our language environment it has the uh, the basic rgui which you can see here it's a uh, now uh, usually i am using the, the basic rgui but it's not that much friendly usage friendly some platforms uh, they started to develop a host environment actually like R Studio. So in R Studio, you will find R more smooth, more fast, more easy to learn, and more colors, more excited. So R Studio also there is something with R Eclipse and R Architect. So all the those most of those three host or platform they are uh, hosting the main R. So that's mean you need to have the R GUI or the basic R you install. Then you can use can install the other softwares and you can work with them with no problem some people they still they don't like r or they don't like programming at all i'm saying that if you are not looking for any challenge or you don't care about significant self development that's mean you need to keep using the cracks of the softwares or you pay thousand of dollars just to get one software might it serve you alone not other colleagues so i can say that sorry we can't help you here this course is only for the hard working and committed people only then you can check also there is some free statistical softwares that it might uh, cover your needs based on the uh, some package that is ready online here I mentioned some books, actually good references like uh, Trajectory Statistics with R, R as Self-Learning Tutorials. Uh, I can write in the uh, description uh, a few PDFs that I am using here. So whatever you want and R, plenty of resources. How do you like to learn? How do you find yourself comfortable? Please just go on. Uh, I will try to upload some PDFs or some books through my blog then you can find it so now as a normal software or any software or any uh, language you want to start to learn you need to know how to start so first we need to download and install the software from the from the ecran our project website for windows or mac or linux whatever you are using then try to set up the project environment this is the most important step to tell you that if you want to start with an effective way you need to learn how to set up the project environment correct way most of people they skip this step and they find too many problems and we have to uh, read and understand the help function because the, it's a, a language a new language so you need too much help it is not logical that you keep asking or sending emails or online you need some solutions maybe within just the two minutes so how to use the help which is a, a great help over there with a bunch of too many resources inside this help with extensive comprehensive way of demonstration of that information so why not why we just need the using the help functions and then we can solve with most of our problems and then i would like to recommend that for any uh, dilemma that you are facing try to first whenever you want to solve it try to guess any sort of keywords coming to your mind for example you can see sort of numbers and sort of uh, vectors and then you you try to think about for example sort them in a way that uh, monthly or weekly data or for example you want to sort uh, uh, based on gender or for example you want to think about how to fix 
sequence issue so try to think about the keywords that it's coming to your mind about manual solutions and in, in this way you will get an effective way of to search exactly about which function you are looking for here you can download a version of the software fresh because they are developing this and they are updating the website with the fresh copy always here is your website and I'm working on Windows so I will get it from here and install R for the first time download R for Windows it's working for 32 or 64 okay so after I download it now we have the R here so we can explore whatever yes so it's runs very fast very quickly okay so now this is the main interface here for our our console first of all so we need to save first we have to save whatever you are working on okay so either save or control s so let's come here R yes. okay so this is dot r data so this is our gui okay don't worry about what you are seeing here it doesn't matter so it is just the same you notice here whatever we are doing actually by clicking here or saving or opening here it is like a command so the command you can see it here so if we save it from here you can see that it should be written actually so if you like to write it or you do it from here uh, it doesn't make any difference here it is the information for your R version okay R is a free software absolutely no warranty okay uh, then if you want to finish this just Q then you can quit R okay so this is the console what's the console the console is just like the active window so the active window does what does it mean it's mean like you can use it as a calculator and then in whatever you want to get a, a direct uh, vectors or create a direct data so without need to write any code so you can work here so for example we start like if we want to define for example uh, x y so in x here you have two options in r in r you can use it like so that's how you define few numbers or a vector within x so you can start with this symbol and then c this is your vector so whatever you want to write it's one two five if you feel confused with this you can just go to equal and it does make not that much difference actually in just a very few cases but in general you can use equal also it's not okay so we still keep to have it within this but if you want to just give a value for x there's no problem okay so y so now what's x it's 2 if you want to go back to the to this line for example you just go with up arrow or down up it will give you the previous steps so this step was like this so now it's okay so this is the basics you can learn this basic in any book and I will, as I mentioned I will provide the books but to just to make in the time effectively we will just try to list how to start with the software effectively if we want to make now or to write codes or to copy some codes we need to start with a new R source code okay uh, sorry R with a new script a new script 
or if you want to open a script that you have so a new script this is a blank page then here you whatever you like to write for example we are saying x equal to one two three if you enter nothing will happen because here you still you can't develop too many things if you want to write you can just write you put hashtag it won't affect so if you put the hashtag here so if you want just to write any text this is week one if you want to run this you will get a very good error okay so it's better that you just keep this one after the hashtag so now when we run this we need to control r control r okay so now we have a new x by the way you can put the cursor here you can put the cursor here okay whenever you like so what i want to do now i want for example to say x four five six but then i want to check what was the previous value of x without running this line so i will just highlight the x and control r okay so x was one two three so the new value whenever i want to put run again and just check x oh yeah it takes a new value okay so oh, i just switch it so don't get confused Okay, so if you feel that you will use too many things, just control L, you can clean this one. So now I prepared some materials. So we can, uh, for example, if you want to save now this window, you have some information here. If you just, you see when we click here, you can see the shape of the tools here. But if we click to the console, we will have a different issues. And this is here the stop, for example, if you see that the cursor this uh, uh, mark is not showing uh, during heavy data or something then you can stop the current competition it will tell you that there is a competition uh, happening in the background so now i am here i'm just i want to save this code i want to give it to my friend share it okay so i'm just saying okay. you can see here we still have saving in different places so how to go direct to the place that we want to save our working space i will uh, i will tell this in the uh, coming in a couple of minutes so now we'll just go to our file that we want to save so this is our code week one code so now this is the code and that one it was the GUI okay so you can see this is now our new file new code it's saved in, in this location okay next step I already prepare a code for you so I will open it here okay this is the code that I prepared for you for discussion so first of all the setting to start the setting start with create your working space you need to save everything automatically in there you want to copy the files later it should be in one place most of people that are working and they don't know how to where they save their files or they don't know how to copy the code or how to copy the materials where they uh, save the pdfs because here there are some codes they have some outputs so it's better that you have your own uh, working space that you can refer to it always so let's say we start to want to make a, a new folder and we put everything in this side this folder so how to do it usually we are doing it from windows okay but we'll try to do it inside R so for example now uh, we want to put something in desktop we will try just to 
do something like this just to learn the location just to learn the location so now we just copy this one okay now you are coming to your own so now I made I just put this here so copy and paste okay. what you see now you see this is the location and now I want to create a folder called WD working directory whatever just need to do something like this just this is a small click here you need just to change this slash to backslash in this way because in this way it won't work in this way it's, it's working what you want to name it whatever WD working directory okay. so now as you said now control R okay you can see now this is the uh, the command that you need there there is no problem here and then we can go and check whether we have wd on the scope yes we have the wd down with us if you feel that you don't like this wd or you did the mistake so again just copy this and you need to remember quotation yes okay you want to come back and delete this one okay so go on check and like and link sorry and link yeah go on okay come on create it again okay so now if you have uh, some files or whatever inside this file if you want just to check it whatever you have in this file so wd or character zero there is nothing here so let's just manually go and put something here then to check whether this is working or not so let's just text here for example if you want to put some um, whatever come on let's check let's apply this directly allocating those two files in here okay so why we created the file to set up our working directory so later whenever i open anything it will take me direct to our working directory so i need to give the command set wd and then i give the same location WD. So this is my working directory inside the WD. So everything I'm doing it will be saved over there. Uh, okay. What is my working directory? Check, double check. Yes, this tom WD. Now this is for output. This working directory for any output that you will have. Or you want to save anything directly to this place. But we have something else in R. Whenever you are working in ArcGIS or QGIS or SPSS, you will have your libraries or your uh, toolboxes. Uh, so, for example, you have a geostatistical analyst, you have special analyst, geoprocessing. So, all of those tools need to be uh, downloaded and saved in some way. And this is the case with R also. You need to have a, a library. Then you can save all your decades inside this library then later if this is a, uh, in this software you need to copy this data to different computer and you already you installed some libraries free online but you have an internet here and you downloaded too many things and you want to copy it to work in offline so you just need to copy the library and working directory so just copy working directory everything within the working directory will be libraries whatever so you can work offline otherwise if you don't save the library now inside working directory you will miss your library and that's when you need to install and download sorry and install all the libraries again in here i want to create a directory and i save my library inside it so yeah this is our WD okay inside this one 
I will create a folder named my line. So my line. Okay. What's the problem? Yes. Double application. Double application. Check it. Okay. So now after we assign our library, we want to check whether it's the our library is still there. Yes, it's on the path of our library. So in this library here you can copy and take this library with you elsewhere. Also we it's like to uh, know that uh, up to here this is the main setting so first you need to set the working directory and also then second uh, uh, first working directory second you uh, know your library and save your uh, GUI